Hi everybody, this is Grade 9 Transmath. This is Unit 2 Stats and Lesson 5, I believe. This is the range. And no, I don't mean that kind of range. Bad joke for the day. Okay, so the range is the difference, which means you subtract between the highest number and the lowest number in a set of data. So here we have a set of data. It's 2, 2, 2, 2, 47. So 47, we would call that an outlier. It's kind of one that doesn't make sense, kind of doesn't fit in with the rest. We would say the range here is 47 minus 2, the biggest number. Subtract the smallest number. The range is 45. So you can see here that consistently we have 2s, and for some reason we have 47. It's, it's what we call an outlier, um, and it's very odd, and that's what makes the range so big in comparison to the numbers. It's a way of measuring how consistent the numbers are, how much the same they are all the time. Okay. The data is often scrambled like this, uh, and it may help to put them in order first. Often all you have to do is find the biggest and smallest. So in this case here, we can see that the smallest I think would be 6, and the biggest would be 22, so it would be just 22 minus 6. But if you happen to have to find the median anyways, the median of course is the one in the middle. It doesn't hurt to have put them in order, so that would be a 6, uh, 8, 9, 9, 10, 17. Have I got that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm missing one. Uh, two nines. Of course, I'm missing the very last one, which is the 22. That makes lots of sense. So in this case here, you can still see that the range would be 22 minus 6. It's the biggest and the smallest. And the median would be the number, we have seven in our row, so it would be three and three. The median is nine, okay? The range can often tell us something about the data. Suppose someone has the following marks. They have a 55, 48, and a 52, and 85. So in this case here, I've asked you to find the mean and the range. So to find the mean, make sure that you go 55 plus 48 plus 52 plus 85, and by the way, you need to make sure you hit equals. I noticed that a few people on assignments may not have been doing this. You gotta add them all up, plus 85, then you gotta hit equals, get 240, and then you're gonna take that 240 and divide by four. We get an average of 60. So you can see here, someone, this person here, this student has consistently got marks. The first three marks were all in that sort of 50 range kind of thing, but the average is way above. It's 85 because of this outlier, this 85, which is way higher than all the other ones, right? Um, so in this case here, the mean would be, the average would be 60, and the range would be 85 minus the smallest one is 48. So 85 minus 48. The range is 37. This means that this person has very inconsistent marks a wide range of marks. They're not consistently in the same spot. Maybe in this case here, the kid did really well, got that got that question. We don't know why, or got that um, unit better. We don't know why they did well that time. Suppose someone has the following marks here. Here's 85, 40, 72, 51. Again, what's the mean and the range? So the biggest one is 85. The smallest one is 40. That's a huge range. The range is 45. They have a wide variety of marks. The mean, 85 plus 40 plus 72 plus 51. Whoops. 85 plus 40 plus 72 plus 51 is 248. Take 248. Make, make sure you hit equals and divide by, we have four marks here. Divide by four. The average is 62. Okay. The average is 62. The range is 45. That means that these marks are all over the place. Generally, the range is not the best measure of consistency. It's a very introductory one. Uh, if you happen to go on and take higher level stats, you'll find that there's much, much better of measures of consistency. But for now, we will deal with just the range. So you should be able to go ahead and do the assignment now online. Uh, please read the instructions carefully. Note that I ask you for the range and I ask you for the median. So I do that to make you put them in order. So make sure you're reading the instructions and good luck.